friends and welcome back to today's video. We are home from vacation and I have stuff everywhere. We have mountains and mountains of laundry to do. Also, I need to get us some groceries. We are like on empty. Plus, I want to make a really delicious dinner tonight. So we have all kinds of things to do today. Also, you guys have all been asking for more style and fashion here on my channel. So I'm also going to bring you a spring thrift haul that I am so excited about. This dress that I'm wearing is actually one of the pieces that I picked up and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's so comfortable, easy to throw on. There is nothing better than like a little cotton black dress if you ask me because you can style it so many ways. So I cannot wait to show you all of the things that I got. We have a ton of things on our to-do list so let's go ahead and get started. So I want to go ahead and start with my spring style haul and I do want to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to partner with them. You guys know something I am very passionate about is affordable fashion and anytime I can find something for a great price or a great deal, I am all about it. And let me just tell you, I have become obsessed in love with ThreadUp. And if you guys have never heard of ThreadUp before, let me tell you a little bit about them. It is an online thrift store and they have over 40,000 brands and they're constantly getting in new things every single day. So every time you go to their website, you're always gonna find something new and they have all of the brands that you already know and love. So anything that you're looking for, you can easily go and search for it on their website. You can also narrow it down by like size and by color. Their website is super user-friendly. I had so much fun going on there and finding the best deals ever. I've actually been wanting to find some spring dresses. You guys know I love dresses so much. I'm like not that big into shorts, but give me a dress any day of the week. And so I wanted to find some that were more like transitional pieces into spring and summer. And I found the cutest ones. And not only that, but then I realized I could shop all of these brands. I don't normally get to shop because they are more expensive at such affordable prices. And with ThreadUp, all of the pieces are like up to 90% off retail value, which is crazy. So that says to me that you can do a lot more shopping and get a lot more things for less amount of money. And you guys are not going to believe the brands that I found. The packaging is so cute. The quality of the clothes that I got are incredible. So let me flip you around and let's do a fun little try on. And you're gonna wanna stay tuned because I have a very special promo just for y'all that I'll share after my try on haul. Okay, so like I told you guys, I really wanted to show you this dress that I'm wearing because I think everyone needs like an easy black little cotton dress. It's breathable. You can add a jacket to it if it's a little bit cooler outside. And this time of year, you never know what kind of weather you're going to get. So I love a dress. I can just throw on like sneakers or sandals, a little jean jacket like I had today. And then this one in particular, I love because it has this cute little like cinched knotted detail which is very flattering so i love this dress it is from gap it was originally 70 dollars. i got it for 17.99 okay so i think this might be my favorite thing that i ordered i'm obsessed and in love and you guys i have never ever owned anything lily pulitzer although i have wanted to so badly so this is like my way that i got to get lily once i found out that thread up has all kinds of lily pulitzer i was like oh my god this is going to be dangerous but I'm obsessed this dress is beautiful the sleeves are gorgeous it is so flattering I love the v-neck it's so pretty actually I put this on and Bunky said oh my gosh when are you gonna wear that on a date for me so I will definitely be wearing this dress lots and lots I think it is so fun to kind of get a little bit more dressed up and this dress estimated retail was $143 I got it for 46 okay I also picked up a couple different tops that are more like lightweight and breathable and just great transition pieces into spring and one of them is this free people top and let me tell you free people is one of my favorite brands ever almost every year at Christmas I like splurge on one free people item and that's like the only one I get all year but their tops are just so comfortable this one especially is like really lightweight I love that this one is very boho which a lot of free people tops are and this one estimated retail was actually $68 I got it for $34 okay and this is another one of those favorite tops that I got you guys know I already love to shop at Old Navy so this was actually from Old Navy it has super fun little bell sleeves it is very lightweight I love the little bow detail right here this one retailed for $30 I got it for 15 and this is another Old Navy top 
top and I love Old Navy Basics. This one you could do so many things with. I love the color. It's like a navy blue and I think it'll be fun to add with like white denim jeans, especially for spring and then maybe like some leather sandals would be so cute. A fun bag most adorable outfit ever and the material on this one is just very soft it's kind of stretchy so it's very comfortable also lightweight so again just a great option to transition into spring and the estimated retail value for this top is $20 I got it for $14 I kept this same shirt on although I would not normally wear this shirt with these pants but I had to share these pants with y'all and if you follow me on Instagram you have probably already seen them because I have worn them so many times and had so many compliments they are so fun so cute so comfortable adorable and I wish I had like five more pairs just like them in tons of different colors I love that they have like this cute little flare here at the bottom it just makes them so flattering and these are seriously the most comfortable pants I've ever put on and the estimated retail value on these pants was $30 I got them for 30 other things that I wanted to show y'all first of all the packaging is so cute I love the polka dots but also I got these adorable little Steve Madden sandals I mean, how fun are these? I feel like they kind of take me back to my childhood and I love this color pink. The estimated retail value on these is $95. I got them for $32. And then I also got this really pretty like royal blue bathing suit cover up. I thought this was so gorgeous. Like I love that color. And this estimated retail value is $36. I got it for $18. Okay, I'm back in my little black dress now. I think I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. But oh my goodness, I found so many adorable things. And I am so excited because Thread Up is actually offering all of you an additional 30% off your first order. You can use my code Jessica and I will put the link and all the information that you need down below in my description box. Okay, so I've got my grocery list here. Bunky is actually about to get off work. I have been editing a video all day long, but I finally got it done. But I still have all of the things that I have to do, and we're taking the RV back to the farm. So, since he's about to get off work, we're just going to go ahead and take the RV back, stop at the grocery store on our way home, then come home and cook dinner. So, we're probably going to be eating very late. Okay, Bunky House is put away. Bunky's about to get in the truck. We're gonna head to the grocery store. It is currently eight o'clock at night and neither of us have like eaten hardly anything all day. So we are so hungry. I feel like that is the story of our life lately. We have got to start eating like a better routine. But anyway, we're gonna head to the grocery store. I may not do like a full blown haul just because we both just wanna like pick up something, go home and cook dinner. Um, but anyway, that is where we're headed. Is the grocery store right now. We lied. We lied. We're not going to the grocery store. <laughs> nope. We are hungry. It is 8.24 and we are going to get some Mexican cuisine from Mr. Bunky. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's for me too because I really want some cheese dip. Going here to eat dinner and then in the morning, I am going to go to the grocery store because I literally have to go. And um, I'll bring you guys along with me and we'll just finish up this video tomorrow. <laughs> we are letting Miss Daisy May out. Um, I promise I am going to do like a whole patio redo and show you guys. We just have not been home, so everything is still sitting over here. It's covered in pollen, and we are actually going to go probably this weekend and get some new patio furniture. So I promise all of that is coming. Okay, I'm going to make my coffee and then we're going to head to the grocery store. And y'all, I have missed our espresso machine so much while we've been gone. And of course we have no milk, so I can't even make my little espresso coffee, which is what I really want. And I'm out of my favorite creamer, so I'm having to use Bunky's creamer, which, you know, it's just French vanilla. It tastes just fine, but I definitely miss mine. So what I told y'all we are out of everything. I mean everything. And I really wanted to have um, an apple for breakfast yesterday. I've been loving to have like an apple and peanut butter. I don't know why but it has become like my new favorite thing. And of course, I go check the pantry. We have no peanut butter. I was like, oh my gosh. When I say out of everything, I mean it. So I'm gonna make this coffee and then we will head to the grocery store and get all of the things so this bunky household can be back in business. Also, you know how I told you guys I have mountains of laundry. There's like three or four more bags upstairs. So <laughs> like I have got to do some laundry today.
back from the grocery store. How do you think I did? I think it's a good spread, dude. <laughs> and I went to, we have a um, new food line in our town, which is honestly just like half a mile from the other one. Yeah. And I had not been there yet. I went and I really liked it. We are like in a, uh, we're at the center of a triangle of food lines. Yes, we have so many around us, but I love Mason Food Line. Yeah. Um, and this we one was- We could literally walk to all three of them if we so chose. Yes, we could. But this one was really nice, funky. Like, I think you'll be impressed. It was really good. Okay, I gotta check it out. Um, so anyway, I'll start over here. I got us some chicken. I also got us a steak. Um, if y'all remember that Gorgonzola pasta we made, we've made it one other time with steak and it was awesome. And Bunky and I both have been craving that. So I think we're going to have it this week for dinner. So I got us a steak for that. I also got us some liver mush. I have been wanting a fried liver mush egg and cheese sandwich so bad. I think I might make us one this morning. Yeah. That's why I got I've, that bread. I see part two of that equation. <laughs> <laughs> I might make us one on camera so you guys can see it as well. You always ask me about liver mush. I'm telling you, you just got to try it. Don't knock it till you try it. I also got us some sausage, some Mexican cheese, mozzarella cheese, a little Lunchable, my favorite little hash browns. You guys know those are just so good. I love them. For some reason, I just like was craving Fruity Pebbles. I saw them and I was like, I gotta have them. So got some Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles are always a good staple. Always good. Um, Bunky wanted some almond milk for smoothies. This was like an impulse purchase. Remember the other day whenever we had the like ice cold peppery Coke? Delicious. It was so good. <clears throat> and I don't ever drink soda, but for some reason I was like, I gotta have another one. Hopefully these will last us we probably would drink like one of these a week, you know? Maybe, yeah. Maybe not even that. Yeah. So these will just be hanging out in the fridge. And then I got, of course, a coffee. And I showed you guys while we were in there, they have a new um, vanilla iced coffee. So I'll have to try that one sometime. But I love my creamer so much. I just went with the regular. And of course, like I told you guys this morning, I picked up my creamer. I got some more of these little Ruffles pasta. And then I also got these little diced tomatoes that it's also for the gorgonzola dish, some apples, celery for B, some asparagus for that recipe as well. We also needed some eggs, of course, the gorgonzola, and then I got Bunky some bananas. And over here we have <laughs> over some broccoli. Yes. I also got us these little um, glazed walnuts for salads. We ain't got no lettuce to eat. Oh my gosh, you know what is so funny? You thought you purchased some less, less lettuce? Yes, because you asked me to get the spinach for the smoothie, so I picked it up and I was like, oh, I need to get the romaine as well, and I totally forgot. The romaine. Well, crud, I'll have to get it later. Anyway, I got us these little glazed walnuts for salads once I get the romaine, and then I also got this little parquet butter. Are you excited? I think I know what that's for. Can you tell what I want? <clears throat> mm hmm I want some ribs, I want some barbecue, all the things. What's this for? Same thing. <laughs> um, my friend Bailey, her husband made us like this barbecue chicken one time and it was so good. And he uses parquet for his ribs. And he, what did he win? What TV show was he on? Barbecue Pit Masters. Yeah, so he's really, really good. So I'm kind of like using all of his secrets. So I got us the parquet for that. And then this is just like a vinegar based barbecue sauce. Hopefully it'll be good. It sounded good. And then of course I got my peanut butter, spinach, milk, bread for my liver mush sandwich. And that is my grocery haul. And now I say we make some delicious breakfast. Time for breakfast. Okay, so I'm gonna make us our fried liver mush sandwich, and everyone kind of likes their liver mush differently. I like mine fried in butter, and I like it more on the thinner side. Some people like theirs more like thick cut, and they like it to be like super crunchy on the outside and then like mushy on the inside. I like mine to kind of be the same consistency all the way through, <laughs> and I know this is like so gross to some people, and y'all know. It's like I cannot eat an onion but I love liver mush. I know it's weird, I know it is. I will not even eat shrimp or fish or seafood at all, but I like liver mush. I know it's weird, y'all, but my mama and papa used to make this for me on Sundays before church when I was a little girl, and so I just grew up eating it, and I love it. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up our liver mush, and then we'll get it fried in our pan, do a little fried egg with some cheese, and then we'll toast our bread. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. Oh, 
and you need just like a teeny tiny little bit of mayonnaise on there, y'all, it's so good, I cannot wait. bread is toasted our fried eggs are done liver mush is done okay so you're gonna take your toasted bread and get you just a little bit of mayo for each side okay uh-huh not too much you don't want it swimming or drowning in mayo no. but you want just a little bit of something because that that uh delicious cheese right there is gonna give you a little creaminess yes so just a little bit okay crust to crust is a must <laughs> I didn't get crust to crust, but I think that's still going to be just fine. <laughs> we have good coverage there. Good coverage. Now, you want to assemble your liver mush. You want to have... What goes good... down first? I'm going to do liver mush and then the fried egg on top, okay? So, liver mush is the base. Liver mush is the base. But, I mean, you can layer it. Like, if you need to pull it apart, you do you. Swi switching up the visual. Okay. You got your liver mush. Which fried egg do you want? Um... This one's fine. You this, want that one? Yeah. This is me. Oh, okay. Well, then you do you. Okay, I'm saying, so does he want me to have this egg? Yeah. Okay. You just slap that puppy right on top. Top it. And then you guys it. smush it and cut it down the center. Now, Bunky. Yes. Is it critical to use good old fashioned white bread for this? You can. I mean, tell me that's not a beaut. Tell oh, me that it's not let me, a beaut. Let me get in there a little focus. Wow. Ooh, my mouth is watering. Mine now, let too. me say this. I'll just wait patiently over here. Now, let me say this. I love using white bread for this sandwich, but I also love a liver mush sandwich on a croissant. I also love it on um, mm. English muffin. Mm -hmm. Like, pretty much any way you'll give it to me, I love it. Bagel? No, not a bagel. Mm -hmm. But this, I feel like, is like old school, tried and true, like, my mom and papa, you know what I mean? Yeah. The white bread is like the way to go with liver mush. Yeah. But it is definitely good on a croissant or an English muffin. I love an English muffin for any kind of breakfast sandwich. Y'all, it's so good. <laughs> and I will say this too. I really think you need like the Kraft singles, Velveeta singles, sliced cheese. Good old fashioned processed American cheese mm -hmm. squares. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. You there's, want some? There's nothing fancy about this sandwich. Nothing fancy, but it's so good. Yes. The cheese. The cheese. It makes it. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a great morning. That's a great morning. Woo! Woo! And you know what? I made coffee this morning, but I'm going to have another one because I have been waiting for that Nespresso, and right. I'm going to make it. Go ahead. Let's get it. Okay, my friends, I'm going to leave you here so I can get started on my next video and finish my 45 loads of laundry for today. Don't forget to check out my link below to get 30% off your first order with ThreadUp using my code Jessica. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.